Hey everybody, what's going on? Brian, two Indians. Hey, today I am taking a ride up to North Florida, right at the South Georgia border, and I'm gonna be meeting up with a friend of mine named Buck, and I'm also hooking up with a guy I met a couple years ago who's a big YouTuber. This guy's awesome, his channel is great, Mr. Brandon Picasso. And we're gonna do a ride tomorrow, a charity ride for Folds of Honor. And that's a uh, organization that provides scholarship support to the families of fallen soldiers. My buddy Buck uh, put this ride together and asked Brandon and I to participate. So we're both gonna ride up. He's riding down from Alabama. I'm riding up from here in Orlando, Florida. And we're just gonna do a ride. Now, I tell you, it's the middle of summer and it's Florida. A, it's hot, and B, it looks like it's gonna be rain almost all the way up. Uh, you know, typical afternoon thunderstorm kind of stuff. So anyway, we'll see, Barbara is not coming with me. She's staying home. <laughs> I guess I'm right by myself. Anyway, I'm glad you're coming in the best way possible from the comfort of your bed or your couch or your office chair, wherever you happen to be right now. So come on, let's go for a ride. We're gonna have some fun. Sometimes I wish I was in the cornfields of Ohio. This is a cool town up here, DeLand. If you're ever in town for bike week, if you're here on the first weekend, I think is when they have the DeLand Bike Fest. It's something you definitely gotta check out. All right. I just made an executive decision and I am not following my GPS because it wanted me to drive through another 15 miles of that town crap. I got onto some back roads here. Uh, I don't care if it's going to take me 10 minutes longer, but I had to get out of that city stuff. Whoo, that was awful. As long as we're on yeah. yeah, so it's a little water, whatever. I'm sure it'll stop raining in about four or five hours. <laughs> But it's all good. I mean, the temperature has dropped 10 degrees since it started raining, so I am fine with that. It's actually quite comfortable. can make a face shield that will keep the rain off of it. I mean, come on, man. Is this like the year 2022 or 1968? Nothing picks me up like a beer can. And the radar says we got another, because I'm going to make a right here. We got another cell up there. Uh, we'll see what happens. Jenny, my fingers are stinging. Yep. Still more rain. Should be letting up soon though. Looks like we're coming out of it right here. That'll be nice. I'd like to dry my pants off. It's starting to soak down into my arse. It looks like we might have another, it looks like we might have an hour of uh, sunshine coming up. That'll be a good thing. I like it. You know what's hilarious? I will get out of my truck 75 feet from my front door and run like a madman to get inside before I get soaked. And I'll sit on my bike for three friggin' hours in the pouring rain because I don't give a Yeah, buddy, that looks like dry weather ahead for the next foreseeable future. And I like that. Oh, look at that. Wish I had a fishing pole. 
Put these clothes in the clothes dryer. Woo! Yeah, these are wet. <laughs> you know, the water uh, soaks into your pants. Ah, more rain. Dag nabbit. The water soaks into your pants and then gets into your socks, and the socks just wick it right down to the bottom of your feet. All right, I've been dry for about. Well, when I say dry, it hasn't been raining. I am definitely not dry, as you can see. But it uh, has been raining for about a solid 10 minutes. But uh, it's about to end in about right now. Man, this was such a beautiful road. I wish it wasn't freaking raining. <laughs> Barbara got me this little roadside toolkit for Christmas and typically like I just grab some stuff out of the tool chest and we'll throw it in the bike every time I go on a longer trip and uh, she got me this and I was like yeah you know thanks I guess <laughs> you know because it's you know it's like an official toolkit right but I needed it and it came in handy on this trip because uh, the bracket on the Custom Dynamics headlight got loose and one of the screws backed out and the thing was flipping all over the place. So uh, it's actually happened on the other one, so I gotta go fix that too. But uh, very thankful I have this with me because the thing I don't like about what I have with these is I ran the wire through the bars, right? So if this mount breaks at all, there's really no way for me to fix or repair this unless I just, you know, cut the, the wire off and throw the light in the back because otherwise the light's just going to dangle if that mount were to break. Let's go to the other side. See? See what I mean? This thing's just flopping around here. And so I gotta, I gotta tighten this on here. But the mount looks pretty tight, so that shouldn't be too hard. All right, I think we're good. All right, so right now I'm only about 30 miles from, maybe 20 miles from Lake Park, just about there. I've had dry weather for like the last 40 minutes. Pretty much dried off. <laughs> Opened up my boots so I could get some air in there. And I was kind of like leaning back in my seat on the way up here to try to get some air under my ass because that El Cantera seat, uh, I may, change that fabric out because man I tell you it seems to really soak up water and hold it and I don't like that I am either gonna have to go back to vinyl or leather or buffalo hide or something I'm gonna have to go talk to my seat expert at six saddles and see what he says you know when I asked him about water resistance he was like yeah well you know all right I gotta get back on the road man I'm getting hungry it's like six o'clock and uh, starving and people are waiting for me up there. poetic I was completely dry back at the gas station I get on the bike and I just rolled through the most horrendous storm of the entire trip and it was awful I'm literally drenched to the bone it's the wettest I've been all day but I did make it to the hotel I'm at a Hampton Inn using my points 
and uh, I got to check in. I got to dry off, and then I got some people to get in touch with. Um, go out for dinner, get some chow, get a beer. Oh man, I could use that. Wow. You know, when you're a social media sensation like this guy, that guy, people come. Yeah. Well, all it takes is for Brian Remington to be around, and I come. <laughs> to Lake Park, Georgia for the Folds of Honor ride. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, brought to you by uh, Flogenics, waterless uh, shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah.